Hello everyone. Day two, log one. Whew. It's been challenging. I didn't know the healing crisis was gonna come so fast. So last night, I had a little spotting at night and my ovary was hurting all night. And uh, around 3 a.m. I woke up with a, more pain in my ovary, my left ovary. So I don't know what's going on, but I know that fasting allows the body to heal. So something is going on. I've always had trouble with my period. I've always um, had cramps. When I started the keto diet, they started going away and then they went away. And then if I did something wrong, like if I swam the night before and my period is the day after, I would get still lots of severe cramps. Uh, so, um, I've had challenges last night. I didn't have a good night's sleep. This morning I was struggling to get up. Then when I woke up, I had zero energy. I could barely walk. And then I went in the sun for like an hour and that was like eating a small meal. It kind of re-energized me. But then after another hour, I was just uh, pretty much exhausted so what I'm doing is just resting right now and I wanted to share with you a little practice that if you don't have energies um, this will help you I have here a little bowl I call it bath in a bowl this is a little bowl of water good water mountain spring water with salt and what you do is you just grab a little cloth you know just a cloth and then you dip it in and you um, sque uh, like squeeze it to get the water out of it and you, you pass it on your skin if you don't want to take a bath. I feel this is more energizing, plus it saves water, you don't have to use a whole tub, plus if you don't have energies you don't want to fill up the tub and go in it. So I've been doing this, I saw it on TV somewhere a long time ago. A Japanese guy that was like a hundred years old that was doing it he was never taking showers or baths he used to do only this so and it really definitely re-energizes you that's why I was able to make this video I was like oh I can make a video why did I promise to make two videos that's a lot <laughs> everything becomes a challenge when you don't have food in your body but I'm going through it uh, it's a big big hump today I know I'm healing something in my ovaries is healing I don't know what it is but uh, you know I've had a big history of having very long periods and extremely abundant so I would go my periods would go for almost 11 days now I have them for like eight days seven days since I started the keto diet and I still think it's a lot but uh, and they're very heavy so I think that's the first thing that's starting to heal in my body my ovaries amazing I'm very excited about it and um, now the pain is gone uh, when I woke up this morning I was fine and uh, what else am I having dry mouth no matter how much water I drink I think I might be starting to add a little bit of salt in the water for the minerals because I feel my body's not attracted to the water the water by, uh, by itself that's pretty much it I'm doing good I'm continuing forward heart palpitations a little bit you know your body the body's doing something we don't know what it is so as long as I have like mild symptoms I'm gonna continue <laughs> this is all healing I'm not gonna get scared and you shouldn't either um, again I'm not a doctor you have to consult with a professional if you have any problems severe problems and that's pretty much it uh, tonight I'll log one more time and tomorrow two more logs and then hopefully I'll uh, finish the fast if I feel good I'm gonna continue we will see thank you guys for watching thanks to all of you that have been that have decided to join me I love it leave me more comments I will answer all of them Thank you for your support. Um, take care and please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you like it. I'll see you tonight. Bye.